Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Friday Night Funkin' on the Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air M1 2020 and I'm going to show you how to download the files so that you can play it locally without the internet. So of course you can run this game through the browser, however there are several advantages to downloading it including the ability to play offline and also to install other mods for it. So all you need to do is to follow the link in the description. So we need to go to this itch.io website and then when we get to here, we can click this download button here. So this window is actually prompting us to support the developers of this game, which you should definitely do if you enjoy this game. However, we can just bypass this by clicking on this no thanks link, which I'll do for you now. And then we get taken to this operating system menu. So the one that we're interested in if we're running this on a Mac, whether it's an Intel or an M1 Apple Silicon Mac, is this funkin-osx.zip. So all we need to do is to click on the red button here and download that particular file. And we do have a pop-up here, but we don't have to worry about that. We are interested in the file that's being downloaded right here. I'm gonna open up Finder and go to my downloads folder. So I've got here funkin-osx.zip and all we have to do here is to double click and it will automatically extract the game. So the game here, we can actually keep it in the downloads folder, but what I like to do is to drag it into the applications folder so it's nice and tidy. And then we can double click on the game here to run it. So it's saying here that we cannot open it because it's from an unidentified developer. So in order to open this easily, what you can do is just hold down the control key on the keyboard and then click on the Funkin application and then click open here. And so that will bypass Gatekeeper. And then here we can press the open button now and that will load the game. Once you're in the game as well, what you can do is to maximize here and then we've got a full screen game. So now we can just play the game normally and it works great on the Mac, whether you're running an M1 Apple Silicon Mac or an Intel Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.